what is going on out there in youtube land out there in podcast land wherever land that you may be listening or watching this podcast from it is a brand spanking new episode of ready set action commentaries hey said it right that time i didn't say it right <laughs> last week but anyway it happens <laughs> yeah well, as you guys know, I am your gracious host, Mike. And as always, I have Anika Chung here with me. Anika, how are you, my dear? Hey, Mike, I'm doing great. It's great to be here. Yes, another exciting film I haven't seen yet, but I'm definitely excited to check it out. I have not seen this movie at all as well. So this is going to be very, very interesting. Uh, the movie, as you guys see, we are watching is a Disney original movie called Alley Cat Strikes. Um... 2020 movie funnily enough so i think it's hilarious of how um the last movie we had a two and a half men actor slash actress in the movie and in this one we have a big bang theory actress <laughs> oh interesting kaylee, i never knew that kaylee kuko <laughs> for as everybody knows she plays penny on big bang theory but uh so yeah this is this is gonna be interesting i've never seen this movie i don't and this is supposed to be a bowling movie, which is yes. really weird um, because it's so weird to have a movie I've never seen before. And especially, especially when it's a bowling movie. <laughs> yes. Like, you know, I love bowling. bowling. <laughs> I, I like bowling too. Well, anyway, let's go ahead and get into this movie. So if everybody is not aware um, and you could, they, these people, the people who watch this or listen to this podcast, they should be aware by now what to do it, it, it's too it's it's going on a year it's going on season two you people should know what to do we can, we shouldn't tell you what to do but we tell you what to do <laughs> yes just to be generous <laughs> <laughs> so anyway um for anybody out there wondering uh you are gonna have to pull up disney plus on this one so just disney plus pull it up get to the zero mark press pause and as soon as we say ready set action we're gonna go ahead and play this movie so and nika are we all set yes we're ready to go all right ready Set. Action. Go. <laughs> okay, just got... Oh my... <laughs> just got right <laughs> into it. I know, no introduction. <laughs> oh, look at him. He's got the He's got the old style Vans on. Yes, like the 50s. That's what the thing... I kind of got the vibe from the pictures. I was like, okay, this is kind of a 50s style. Oh, God, kind of Robert, Robert Richard. I mean, if there was ever a Disney actor, it's Robert Richard. Oh, my God. The, the young Kaylee Kuko. Holy crap. And in that pink outfit she's wearing, that was definitely something that Penny would wear in, like, the first, what, two seasons of Big Bang Theory. <laughs> 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 what the hell is a poodle skirt? Oh, they're very fashionable. I, they're so cute. You would just wear a petticoat underneath and a poofy, colorful circle, circle skirt, oh, and poofy. then oh, a poo. Uh, oh, th that's why they call it a poodle skirt. Okay, that makes yes. sense. Yes, they're cute that to wear. Sense. I love them. <laughs> He's lucky that his dad owned a bowling alley. That's pretty cool. You know, the first, you know, the first time I, when I actually saw this kid right there, I thought that was Jonathan Taylor Thomas for a second. I know I'm a big <laughs> JTT fan. <laughs> I still am. <laughs> so by the way, this, uh, this was another, this was another fan uh, requested movie. This is the second one that we are doing. This one was uh, sent in to us by Nick Opalop. Opalitsky. Hope I said that correctly. I really hope I said that correctly. But uh, thank you so much for the suggestion. Um, Anika, we actually had another suggested movie pop up this past week, and oh. but I, had to, I, I had to turn it down, though. We can't we, we can't do that movie. Which movie was um, that? Uh, the movie was uh, The Passion of the Christ. Oh! We... Oh. Yeah. The, the, here's the thing. You guys can you guys can suggest any movie you want. But I am not going to react and commentate and rip on that movie. I th that 
Because to me, as a Christian, that's blasphemous. It's, it's that. Yeah, no. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure if I was to do that, I would go to hell right after the commentary it, was done it, with. It would be struck by lightning <laughs> from Zeus. So. Wait, so it's wait, so it's a basketball teams. Okay, I thought this was a bowling movie. Oh, I think it's um. Hmm. And one of the guys have different interests. I think the other guy plays ball, and the this guy plays uh, bowling. Oh, okay, that's okay. strange. Seriously though, R R Robert Richard, I swear to God, I mean, um, one show that he was really famous of doing was on Nickelodeon. He did Cousin Skeeter. See, you know what? Now I know. Actually, this face is so familiar. I remember him in the Sisterhood. Uh, traveling pants too. I remember him in that movie. Was he? In the, I'm, I'm looking up. I'm looking up his filmography. Sweet baby Jesus, just looking at a just like a what like what? Kaylee's got to be like 13 here. Oh that! Oh, I'll, oh this! Oh please! <gasps> oh please! Please just kick his ass just to embarrass him. <laughs> he reminds me of, of that guy from a Christmas story. Is is that his like his um living relative? <laughs> oh, you gotta be oh Schwartz. <laughs> yeah, but, you know, yeah, a Christmas story. His bus car reminds me of the Christmas story. Just the look of him. <laughs> <laughs> the the bully. <laughs> What a douche. <laughs> so that's yes. a no. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All he needs that hat now just to make him <laughs> that. Hey, okay, real quickly, who, like, I have never known anybody to broadcast high school basketball or junior high basketball. Really have never known anybody to do that or even or even the local radio stations that do it. Yeah, they don't really do that. It's usually like the mm -hmm. university style. Well, yeah, I mean, it's it's usually college sports that you do it. That is pretty oh, cool, dude. Come on, that was an easy shot. How do, how do you screw that up? Oh, wait a minute, miss. was that was that Josh Peck just a second ago? I could have sworn I just. Saw... Oh, okay, nope, it's not Josh Peck. Okay, my <laughs> my mistake. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. The, I'm sorry. The, the 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 kid with the kid was fat and had black hair, and he looked like Josh Peck. Okay, so excuse oh. the hell out of me for mistaking him. Ooh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I didn't need to know that. A spitting contest? Who the? Oh my god. Oh my goodness. That is that is that's got to be that is so elementary. Like actually having a spitting contest. I I remember like me and my friends we we used to do spitting contests. <laughs> well, it was only the boys who did it. The girls yes. didn't want to do it. Girls were like cooties. <laughs> you know the fun. You know. I think this is so ironic of how Kaylee Kukoc is playing in a bowling movie. And one of the main episodes in Big Bang Theory was an episode where the gang was bowling. And it was the episode where uh, Penny and Leonard broke up. Hmm. You know, I've never watched Big, Big Bang Theory before. I never did. <laughs> I'm going to watch more often now. <laughs> Do pe what the fuck? Nice huh? Oh. <laughs> Fair enough. I'll press the reset button. Dad, the reset button's broken again. Oh, what again? Huh. Well, that was very interesting to see, like, he was actually behind there. <laughs> I don't know, pal. I'm wide open on ideas. You 
get the folks in here, but until that happens, your mechanical genius is what we need. <laughs> So Kyle Schmidt, by the way, um, him, uh, he's playing in that role right there. He was actually in an HBO. Uh, he was in an AP. Uh, uh, slur, slurring my words. I can't talk. <laughs> it happens. We're all. <laughs> it really does. I, I hate it when that happens. So I'm looking at his filmography here, and he is. Uh, so he's appeared in The Pacifier, which is a really good movie with Vin Diesel in it. What did he? Who did? Who did he play in the Pacifier though? I'm I'm, I'm actually really curious now. I think Dwayne. Oh, Mark he, Johnson. oh he played Scott. Oh, oh wait, oh wait. Are we talking he, about the Pacifier with Dwayne Dwayne Mark Johnson? Oh no no Vin Diesel. Oh oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, so the, he he didn't play a he didn't play a main role in the movie, but he, I mean at least he had a he had a role. Oh, I remember that guy from Sister Sister. Oh, yes, you, I remember him. Jeez, that's a, that's a mo- that's a show I haven't heard in a long time. Sister Sister. Yes. <laughs> I tell you, high school uh, coaches take their sports games so seriously. Oh my gosh, they I think they're more serious than the university coaches. I think. <laughs> well, that's usually because, like, because they usually. High school coaches are usually teachers who get paid more. So their success is is determined on their success or whatever. Hmm. Why the hell does Kaylee look like she's like she's dressed up for like like she could be in a oh my god, she looks the the, the way she looks right now, it looks like she could be in like in a soda shop in the nineteen fifties. <laughs> Yes, she's giving me, you know, like uh, Sandy from Greece, like that vibe there. Yes. Oh, yeah, good, good call on that one. That was a good Olivia call. Olivia Newton-John, yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, they're just like we don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> the kids are like, eh, "What are you talking about, sir?" <laughs> Got a message over on the Instagram page from someone who listened to the commentary saying, "You guys cuss too much." Oh, well, here's the thing. Here's the thing, people. Anika doesn't cuss enough. I'm the one who's the rated R one here. He does. <laughs> I'm very PG. <laughs> why is it that all all my co-hosts have been the PG ones? Why can't I have a rated? Why can't we have both a rated R host and co-host? <laughs> <laughs> oh well, what do you expect? <laughs> <laughs> odd <laughs> competing why does like why does this dude kind of act like kind of act like the lawyer in seinfeld <laughs> i can't remember what i can't remember what his name was regional coverage dude it's a high school basketball game We Good don't have Lord. cheerleaders in our high school in Canada. We don't have no cheerleaders. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> no. Nope. Only in America, you guys have the cheerleaders, which is pretty cool. You can. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be completely honest with you. I've actually seen the, exactly what pro bowlers make as a salary. Really? How much do they make? Oh, it's not even that. It's not even that great. I mean, you can you can probably make half a million dollars a year if you're a good bowler. Oh, wow! But you, like you just there's there's no money to be made in it. Hmm. I always struggle to get the last pin. I do, <laughs> I do, but, uh, it's but also you know, funny. people people don't understand just how difficult bowling is. And people don't understand something. It's not even a sport. It's an activity. Yes. It takes concentration just to get the ball to go at this corner. Like, I see some people, when they bowl, I'm like, how do you get that ball to just go in that corner? Like, 
you know the the thing about the thing. Whoops! Accidentally clicked. It. Anyway, um, the only thing about uh, bowling that you need to know is geometry. And here's oh. the thing: I don't I don't like math, but you if you know geometry and and base and advanced mathematics, you can actually do a lot of good things in bowling. Hmm. That's good to know. Now, all right, now I know. I'll, I'll definitely keep that you, in mind. What do you mean you'll load the team with talent? What are you trying to make them the New York Yankees of fucking bowling? <laughs> good God. Ugh. Oh, you know what I just realized? I just realized that um, Daphne, uh, Daphne Maxwell Reed is in this movie. I, ju I just realized that she's in this movie. And she played Vivian Banks. Uh, on the Fresh Prince of Bel Air, she was a second <gasps> aunt. Yeah, she was. Yeah, she was a she was the second aunt Vivian. Oh, Daphne. Oh, I did not. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. Now it makes sense. Yes. Okay. Wow. I will say this about Daphne. Uh, you know, she she had a lot, she had some big shoes. She had some big high heels to fill with Aunt Viv because I really. I appreciated the, I, I can't remember uh, the name of the actress, but <laughs> sucks to be you, doesn't it? <laughs> I want to make a joke, but I don't want to come off as a jackass, so I'm not going to say it. <laughs> Why are you freaking out, man? Nothing wrong, Bolin. <laughs> He's losing his mind. <laughs> right. Not gonna lie, so far this movie's a lot better than George of the Jungle 2. <laughs> I agree. Oh, oh my gosh, that was painful. Okay, do you want to so do you want to know what is uh, less painful than having to watch George of the Jungle? Tell me. Sticking my tongue in a fan. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Sticking, oh my god. Sticking my sticking my tongue in a fan is a lot less painful than having to watch that crappy movie. God. <laughs> yeah. And remember that George of the Jungle Two got the lowest rating of ready of ready set action commentaries of any movie. Because the lowest the lowest rated movie I think of this podcast has been uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles three, and I think we gave it a solid. I think we gave it a solid six point three. Because because we we've, we've never given a movie besides George the Jungle lower than a six. It's just the you know the visual effects were just terrible and. Oh, it, it wasn't was just the visual, it wasn't just the visual effects. It was the the the, the crappy jokes. The yes. it was the it was the acting. I mean, everything about that movie was awful. Yes, I would say. <laughs> well, strike. Why does he? Okay, real quickly, Anika, I'll I'll say this. I'll say this with you. Why does uh, why does he sound like a white lawyer? <laughs> oh, <laughs> no! I'm being honest. Like he like he sounds like a white dude. <laughs> you know what it is? There's some they just probably grow up differently, and they will just have sometimes have the way. It's like how you grow up. So what he probably was told fuck? to talk proper. <laughs> oh my god. What the hell was that? What the oh that's a terrible throw. <laughs> oh why <wow>, that <laughs> his arm looked like a chicken wing while he threw it. <laughs> yes. Yes, yeah, struggle. <laughs> Uh, that's not really that impressive, you dumbass. Oh, 
Thank you very much. Seriously, it, it, scoring 100 in bowling is not that impressive, numb nuts. No, that's very low. But to me, if I scored 100, I'd be happy. <laughs> Oh, I, I'm, I'm really, I would look. Here's the thing. I may, I may be talking some smack about him, but you know, I'll, I'll admit, I'll probably score a hundred very easily. <laughs> but if you, but if you can score like two hundred in bowling, you're pretty good. Yes. <laughs> He's just <laughs> the smug look <laughs> on his face. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, come on. You can see him. <laughs> Give him a chance. Oh, my God. Those paper cups. Oh, my God. Oh, I haven't seen those in a long time. Oh, my God. Anika, we are old. Okay. Yes. You know what? I'm going to say right here on the podcast. <laughs> we are old. We've been, we've been born 500 years ago. Oh my <laughs> god, I miss those freaking paper cups. <laughs> god. I remember those. Like those so, are so cute. So these guys hang out at the pizza shack and the bowling kids hang out at the donut shack. <laughs> Just like the movie Cryberry Baby, you know, there's squares and wait, what is that? Squares and something, something, something. Oh, I, I, I know which, I know which one you're talking about. Yeah, God, I can't even remember. I cannot remember. It's alright. <laughs> so for everybody out there, um, so for everybody out there, I will try to limit my cussing. Okay, if everybody's complaining about that. <laughs> He likes her. Uh, well, I mean, who doesn't? Kaylee Kukos has always been. Uh, Kay, Kaylee Kukos. I mean, for God's sake, she was. Actually, when she. You know, wait a minute. I think I'm just. A, no, I'm. I'm four years younger than uh, Kaylee. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, grocery and variety. Oh. <laughs> I definitely dress like this in the t uh, in two thousand. <laughs> hmm. My fashion was quite interesting in, in the two thousands. I was kind of like at my rocker stage a little bit. It was a little essence, a little. Hmm. <laughs> well, I mean the ni the nineties were st the nineties clothing was. St Still a thing like right at 2000 as, as it began. I want to say 2003 is when fashion started changing into the 2000s. Yes. Good God. How many damn trophies and ribbons are in that house? Oh, he is all about he's going with this whole, you know, blah, blah, blah thing. Like, oh, my family has a long line of sport, sportsmanship. Oh, God, you know, not and... that. I, I hate those types of parents. <laughs> I hate those types of parents. Because they pressure their kid into doing the same thing that they did, so that way they can relive past glory. <laughs> what the hell? Are these kids wearing Adidas tracksuits to bowl? <laughs> Seriously, what do you... Tony's lasagna heaven? Oh, God. <laughs> oh my lord it's tony's lasagna heaven it looks it looks good though i like those small mom pa shops <laughs> they always have the good food i give them a chance <laughs> oh yeah boy <laughs> Oh, finally, he doesn't have a strike. I was beginning to think he was inhuman. <laughs> Bro, what kind of... Wow, that was... 
really oh sh- that was really shitty that's <laughs> that's weird oh my gosh How do you, like, what kind of bowl is that that's not a bowl that's just you really suck oh also, I bet. By, the, <laughs> so by the way what are you wearing them baggy pants for in the bowling alley for you dude <laughs> You know, you don't need to be an asshole to her. Like, seriously, she's trying to help you, you jerk. He's oh, creating, God. like, a defense mechanism right now. He's kind oh, of yeah, making he a definitely. block. Is she wearing leopard? Yeah, never mind. She. Oh, the knickers. Oh, I know those ones. The style. I have. I remember those pants. They're so fashionable. Yeah, I- those leopard, those leopard, pr- the the leopard skin uh, pants. Yes, but yeah, I never found those really. Uh, I was never into those pants. I don't, yeah. <laughs> anyway. Okay, and who the heck would know that besides a bowler? Dude, just because a guy's name is G- never mind. Here's the thing. I actually knew a, a guy in high school who was on the golf team, and when people found out that he golfed, people were absolutely shocked. And it's just like, why are you surprised that he plays golf? Like, who cares? Yeah, like everyone has different interests. Not everyone is in, into the same thing all the time. You know, it, it, there you it, go. It, those it, are those are good bands. <laughs> Yes, but I've heard of Backstreet Boys. Yes, <laughs> I think we all have heard. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> Jeez, Louise! Is she is she making a video game of him or something? <laughs> I have no idea. I have no clue. But clearly, this is the guy who thinks that power is what win- is what gets you strikes, and that's absolutely wrong. Huh? Attitude? Uh, never mind. No, 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 no. <laughs> You know, he's got a point. I mean, they can't do anything to get an edge. It is bowling. I I totally agree, man. Like, I mean, it's it, just like it's it's like if you were to say you got an edge in golf, it's impossible to get an edge in golf. There's just no way you can, there's no way you can get an edge in golf or bowling. At least he's trying okay, to motivate this, them. This kid is actually straight out of the 50s. I like that style. Yes. I always found that fashion to be nice, too. I do. I, no, you're absolutely right. Like, the, the, the fashion in the 50s was really good. I mean, yes. could you actually imagine if, the, if that type of fashion actually got brought back now? I would love that. Yes, Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Too bad too many of today's generation would consider it ancient. I know, but actually, luckily, there's a few people that actually do dress up into that vintage 50s. You know, if you do see them, 
definitely give them a compliment. There is nothing wrong with dressing vintage. There is absolutely. I'm, I'm going to be honest. If I actually saw a dude dressed in like 80s clothes with a Michael Jackson beat it jacket, I am not laughing at that person. I am giving them a straight up compliment. Yes. A sh- oh, that's so nice. He's got a shirt. Really? You said you said dork? Dude. Oh, oh my. Can't, he can't spell. <laughs> Jesus. I like how the bowling shirts look like the 50s. I love the look of that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wait a minute. It says Wildcats WA. Is this in Washington? Hmm. I'm, cu- I'm curious. See what I mean by that dude look like Josh Peck? <laughs> yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> he looked like Josh Peck for crying out loud. I got to look up Josh Peck. <laughs> Oh my god! The U.S. Army recruiting. What the? Fuck? <laughs> okay, you are right. He does look a little bit like like, like Josh Peck. You're right about that. Okay, now I'm looking. I'm looking at that party real quickly, and I'm saying that that shot right there was wrong. None of the kids would be grilling. Okay, none of these kids would know how to freaking grill. <laughs> I'm just saying. Oh my goodness! Ah, the uh, the awkward teenager stage. I remember Everyone those hanging, days. And we're hanging on the left and the right. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh jeez, <laughs> dude! Lay off, lay off the testosterone. <laughs> so by the way i need to give a huge shout out to all of our fans out there to all the support of uh who's been a big who have been a big uh supporters of the of the rebranding process we've we've jumped up in subscribers in a really good in a really good way we jumped up uh, almost 20 subscribers within three weeks uh yes. titanic the titanic podcast has almost 2000 views uh you know george of the jungle got almost 300 views and you know you guys are you guys have absolutely been awesome like checking out checking out this podcast and we appreciate your support because i mean this rebranding process it it took a lot of it took a long time to do but it was but it was completely totally worth it yes thank you guys for showing some love And make sure you turn on for notifications so the next time we have another podcast, you know. <laughs> Hit the little bell icon. Oh, is he going over to uh, what's her face's house? Yes, he is. Do it, Alex. Aww. Do it, Alex. Get her done. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I had to throw in the layer of the cable guy thing. <laughs> No. <laughs> oh my god! I, I'm just listening to Kaylee's like pre-puberty voice, and her voice is so squeaky. <laughs> but I mean, like I, I've, I've always loved Kaylee Kuko ever since I seen her in Big Bang Theory, and. What all, what I also love about Kaylee is her outtakes in Big Bang Theory because she, it's so easy to make that woman laugh. <laughs> oh wow, time goes flies by so fast. I'm just start checking out her profile, Kaylee Kuko. Hey, d- dude, can you please take this guy's?
There you go. Oh, I did not know. She was actually in the um, Seth MacFarlane movie, A Million Ways to Die in the West. I never knew that. Oh, I didn't know that either, actually. Learned something every day. Yes. <laughs> One of my favorite movies, I will say. <laughs> oh, and the man from Toronto, Annie. Oh. Oh. Okay, did this dude is a this guy is a douche. Good oh, grief. I, I know guys like him. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Jack Ch Jack Childs, that's who <laughs> the 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 uh, the the parody of Johnny Cochran on Seinfeld, Jack Chillas. That's who he <laughs> that's who this guy reminds me of. <laughs> It's all about the win, man. Like, win, win, <laughs> win. Mm -hmm. Huh? <laughs> yeah, oh, forgot. Uh, this guy is really getting. This guy's really getting on my nerves. I, I mean, he, he, this, this dad is getting on my friggin' nerves. Let them, let them be kids, man. <laughs> Thank you very freaking much. They're in junior high, for God's sakes. <laughs> She's not wrong. Is it just me or does this kid almost look like Leonardo DiCaprio from Titanic? He's giving that vibe with the like hairstyle. Like that he was... kind of, he kind of does look like Jack Dawson a little bit. He does. Just give him the outfit, and there you go. <laughs> oh yeah, I remember that. If you if you were able to drive, if you were able to drive or ride your bike without any hands, you were you were probably the coolest kid in the entire neighborhood. Yes, the days when it was safer to ride a bike, man. The <laughs> days. <laughs> I know back. I know back when I was a kid, like the 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 primo bike to own was a mongoose bike. It was a mongoose BMX. Mongoose. Are they like the low rider riders or the high riders? No, 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 no. They're they're, they're a BMX. They were a BMX bike. Oh, BMX. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh, come the fuck on. <laughs> we got the top competitors. Right? <laughs> bam, bam. <laughs> that is such bullshit that all of them are able to throw two strikes in a row with synchronization, for God's sakes. Whip saw McGraw. Ugh. All right. Looks like he has a family of athletes too. Isn't that kind of <laughs> isn't that cheating that you actually hire a professional to actually teach these kids? Yes. Kind of is man like. He wants them to win that bad. He's that desperate for this trophy. Good God. Well, Stop doing that. <laughs> I couldn't help it. <laughs> I wasn't talking to you. I was talking to the movie. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
By the way, nice hair. Oh, you know what? You know what I it, oh for you know what I would tell him right then and there? I would tell you get bent. <laughs> That's just lame. Jeez. No, you didn't. Okay. Yay. Bowling time. There you go. Why do I have a feel? Why do I have a weird feeling that this is that this movie is taking pl place in either Virginia or West Virginia? I don't know. I don't know. I feel like <laughs> there's Kaylee in her 50s styled clothes again. I love it. <laughs> she cute. <laughs> Definitely oh, she cute. Needs, she needs just a petticoat and then, you know, then it'll, it'll fluff. Oh my God. <laughs> Become one of the become one of the pink ladies from Greece too. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, oh for a second. Oh, for a second, I thought that was pennies from I thought that was gonna be pennies from a heaven. What's Hardly that? Doubt it. <laughs> I don't know. If the, I don't know if this. No. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, man! Some breakdance move, bowling. <laughs> oh, I just saw that. By the way, the, the ball hit the kid's ankle. Ow! Whoa! That'll that is that'll definitely sting. That's way too. That close. will wow. that will definitely sting, and I probably. <laughs> Uh, you know what? I, I forgot. I forgot about all the. You know what? If just watching this just really takes me back because again, I've never seen this movie as a kid. <gasps> oh, but this did you do wow! I just noticed he she, he tried to do the Lindy Hop move. He did with one of the girls. Yes, yeah, something. I was like, what? <laughs> it's cool. I swear, you know, Disney just had some good movies. They totally did. But this is but this is definitely when uh when the when Disney Channel actually produced really great content you know, on television. Not, not just their original movies, but also their television shows back in the 2000s were really good. Disney Channel was I want to say Disney Channel from 2000 to 2004 were just Big Disney oh, Channel. Absolutely. Disney Channel just can't do anything anymore. <laughs> I miss all the good shows they had, man. Like my favorite one was Dinosaurs. Remember what Dinosaurs? Oh, Earl Sinclair. Oh, <laughs> yes, yes. That was such a bad show, but it was a funny show, though. <laughs> I love that, man. I I race every time I'm home from school to watch that show. <laughs> Funny thing about dinosaurs um, was that uh, Kevin Clash uh, was actually the voice of that little baby dinosaur, and he also did, really. And it, it, well, if you also don't know, Kevin Clash also does the voice of Elmo, and he used he used the Elmo voice for that for that role. I never knew that. Wow! Hey, we learn something, every, something new every day in film history. Cool. Yeah, but you gotta warn them, man. You gotta show us. So we just work. You should be worried. 
Well, you know, I kind of see where this movie's going now. Like, this is actually, like, it's a two-way teaching side. You know, the bowling kids are actually teaching him how to, like, be, get a better attitude, and he's teaching them how to get some confidence. I like yes. it. It's a win-win. It is. This is kind of giving me D, like the mind. Are, are you kidding vibe. me? He's using he's using charm. That is so, <laughs> that is such a le- oh my god! Look at the VHSs in the background. <laughs> oh my classic! Oh, wait a minute, no! They had four copies of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles in there. Are you yes. shitting me? I'd love the original turtle movie. Who doesn't? Oh, the 1990, 19, the nineteen ninety, yeah, with Jim Henson's yes. Muppet creatures uh, doing the costumes. That movie is the greatest. And was like, I love the fact that the actors that were in were in the turtle costumes, like they were really good at their martial arts skills. Oh, they really were. They were really good at those everything. Me and K Hart, when K Hart was the co host here, we did uh, the entire trilogy of the Ninja Turtles, and the the only movie that we that we just hated doing was the third one because it was so bad. Yep. <laughs> but we still get, but we still gave it a a score of over six. I just couldn't believe they had Johnny Knoxville as the voice of Mike Michelangelo. Oh, please do not do not hey, remind me of Michael Bay okay. as t- okay. Ninja Turtles, please, for God's sakes. Okay, okay. <laughs> no, I and and he would no Johnny did the voice of Leonardo, and it's just Leonardo's supposed to be the leader. He's not the one that says, "Hi, I'm Leonardo. I'm the and welcome and we're the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles." <laughs> It's <laughs> just like jackass version of Ninja Turtles. <laughs> huh? What? Oh, wait, 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 wait. So, so you're saying that the asshole mayor used to be his friend, and yet he acts never, and he acts like a jerk to him. Good God, what the heck happened to that friendship? <laughs> yes. You know the funny thing is that I'm only I'm only seven years younger than Richard uh, than uh, Robert Richard, which is really scary to think about because in seven years I'm going to be forty. <laughs> Oh God, that's a scary thought. It, don't don't be scared of forty, man. Forty is still young. Very it's, true. You're only, you're only young is how you feel. Ooh, the classic car behind this jacket. Ah. These guys starting to become best buds. Yes. Yes, I love how they're, you know, getting along. You know, they're just like, yeah, spread the word, you know. There's going to be like a nice jam happening. Bowling. I remember... I remember the last time I actually went bowling was... What the fuck? <laughs> what? No. Well, why did they have to do that stereotype? They 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 bribe the fat kid with food. Yep. <laughs> Damn it. Anyway, the last time I actually ever went bowling uh, was about five years ago. And I I remember, like, I feel like bowling now is just a place where you just go with your buddies to drink. Yes. Oh, almost got it. Strike! <laughs> they're just trying to do it. Now they're just trying to Oh, almost got it. 
Yeah, the seven ten split is the hardest shot in bowling. Oh, <laughs> right down the middle. Oh, jeez. See, like you can you can try so many times. Like it's the, it's one of the most one of the most difficult shots in all of bowling. It is like. <laughs> He's a skilled bowl bowler. This guy yeah, is. He definitely is. <laughs> like again? Yeah. You know, he's still got an attitude on him. Oh, I see where he was do what he was doing. He was just trying to like motivate him. Yes. I like that, you know? Everyone needs motivation. <laughs> <laughs> wow, there, wow. Nice. So, so so basically the unpopular kids are starting to get seen yes. <laughs> the jackets are so like 1950s I like that I like the look exactly of Uh, um, that's oh boy, kind of not cool. Co captain, like, okay, <laughs> oh, oh, no. yeah. oh, captain, my captain, <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> So uh, I'm just like this must be a really really small town that they care so much about a junior high bowling event. People, Good I'll tell you God. this, man. People in small towns, they they take their team very seriously, man. It's like a big thing. <laughs> Especially when it comes to the Buffalo Bills, you know they're all about that team oh, to win. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm just saying, Buffalo's a small, you know, a small town, man. But like, you know. <laughs> uh oh! Tell me he didn't forget about them. <laughs> yep. That is he not forgot. cool. Knew no, that's that's not cool at all. What the heck? Oh, for crap's sakes. You're supposed to be with, be with your team. Exactly. And now you're over at the pizza place. He's changing for the worst. For the worst. And Jekyll and Hyde. <laughs> I, exactly. And let me guess, tensions are going to rise now. Someone to start something. <laughs> Oof. Oh, 
Uh oh, now he's starting to lose his he's starting to lose that spirit that he had at the beginning of the movie. Because of what because of what they saw. I, oh yeah, and know? also by the way, I saw where that ball was going. That was a gutter ball. <laughs> <laughs> gutter. <laughs> Party! <laughs> Woo! Party! Yes. Who does not love a bowling party? Yes. That's I don't know, style. You know, bowling used to actually be really popular. It's not as popular as it used to be, though. It really, it really is not as popular as it used to be. The nineties, nineties, like. You always saw birthday parties at bowling alleys. You don't see yes. it. You don't see that no more. <laughs> God. <laughs> <laughs> it'll work just fine <laughs> oh yeah it'll definitely work I swear to god Kaylee dresses just like Penny does <laughs> It didn't matter. It doesn't matter what she does. They're ignoring him. They're like, oh boy, what is he going to be playing? Don't ruin it now. Oh, you know what? Actually, definitely. Nah, that's actually pretty good music. Nothing okay. wrong. Nothing wrong with playing some rock music. Okay, I agree. Well, at least he has a versatile palette. That's good. Mm-hmm. Dude, you don't need sunglasses in a dark bowling alley. I'm sorry. He's trying to play it <laughs> cool, man. I don't care. You do not need sunglasses in a dark place. <laughs> Yeah, you know, I'm actually kind of wondering the same thing. Where is he? <laughs> okay. He's forgetting that, like, you know, Alex taught you how to play bowling, you know? Exactly. <laughs> like, you weren't, you were, you were a terrible beat in the beginning, man. Don't forget that. You sucked. <laughs> You know, I'm actually kind of wondering why they have such an issue with the bowling alley being so full. <laughs> oh, for crying. Oh, for God's sake. He's going all Hollywood. <laughs> Okay, too cool. So that's, dude. So that's why he so that's why he was late. <laughs> Very uncool. Oh man, I forgot about I forgot of how 2000 was a real start was a start of like of that Kind of like that, kind of like that goth type of rock or whatever. <laughs> or no, not goth rock, but you know, punk rock type of music. I for, I completely forgot all about it. Yes, emo kind of style, kinda. Yeah, definitely like emo music, but it, but it, but it was good music though. Even though it was emo music, it was still good. Oh yes. And still, and still, good music. I 
people will say a rock sarcasm. band. Sarcasm. Sarcasm. <laughs> <laughs> bowling dude. <laughs> bowling dude definitely starting to get a swelled head <gasps> whoa What a bunch of jerks. They'll get theirs one day. <laughs> nah, they're nah, they're not going to get anywhere. They'll just go to high school, be jocks all their lives and then grow up to be drug addicts. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And you'll be you'll be somewhere better. <laughs> and they'll oh, be like, yeah. "Damn." It's always that way. For some reason, it's but like see, the most popular. I feel like I feel like he needed to hear that just to get a real decent kick in the ass. Holy shit, dude. He's sad. Uh-oh. Oh. Uh-oh. He may be starting to rethink things. Not anymore. I don't know. Just makes everything so different. I can make some things different, but it doesn't have to make you different. Ah, see, Dad's speaking some facts. Yes. Just because everybody else is hyped up for it doesn't mean you got to get a swelled head. Exactly. That's exa that's exactly what's happening. To, that's exactly what happened to Alex. I mean, he he was getting that swelled head. Thinking like you know oh. he was like the, but you know the ish you know Dude, like he was take a, he the was sunglasses take the sunglasses off. The important thing is you got just gotta be yourself, man. That's it. Bottom line. Exactly. Ugh. Oh. Him again. What? <laughs> oh, go away. Huh? What did he just say? He's talking about the time that they did here. No, but I mean, just like, it, that's a freaking tongue twister if, if there ever was. What the? Oh, for. F Ugh. These are awful. What the uh, heck? First of all, you can have a team uniform, but they don't need to look like you just cut them out of a paper. Oh, for God's sake. I don't even know what to say. They look like the volunteer t shirts kind of thing. Oh, kinda. they do. Yeah, they look like volunteer. Yeah. Ugh. No, sh like there's no flair. No. Oh, for how much more pressure do you need to keep putting on these kids? Keep on competing for this damn trophy. <laughs> Just as an 
Look at this. You've been in school on us and they give us a piece of junk. All they care about is winning. They don't understand bullying and they don't understand us. There you go. This is bogus. I'm so Oh my god, I haven't I haven't heard anybody say that in a long time. This is bogus. <laughs> oh crap. He didn't really like the shirt there. I think that's that's the thing that really turned him off. <laughs> what the <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, uh, you. God damn it. Little drama queen. This is his fault. Oh, my God. Those uniforms. Ah. Oh. What are, they trying to look, what are they trying to do? Look like Tiger Woods on Sunday? Yeah. <laughs> it's like a KFC shirt, t-shirt, man. I, I'm sorry, because it's just so red. <laughs> KFC. <laughs> I it like that. Of, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Very true. The mighty apple. Good God. Oh, isn't that nice of how you can actually up? Huh. Oh. <laughs> He's been exposed. <laughs> it's actually kind of nice of how you can actually go up to the waitress or call the waitress and be like, I'm getting another soda. She's like, oh, okay, go ahead. <laughs> Free sodas. I know, I know what that's, I know what that feels like. I really do. <laughs> Don't lose the motivation. Come on now. There you go. Yeah, motivate him. Yes. <laughs> Crying out loud. <laughs> Golden boy. Why does he look so happy about everything? <laughs> Win. <laughs> oh, this ought to be good. <laughs> Did he say hair? Thank you. Dude was definitely a good actor. 
I'm actually, I'm actually really surprised that he never made the transition from, you know, Disney actor to actually being a full time actor in Hollywood. Because he made most, because he made most of his money when he was a kid. Oh yes, childhood actors make a lot of money. Yeah, look at Macaulay Culkin. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, now that's oh, better. Oh, goodness. Yes. That was be- that's better. That I'll definitely like- brought him a smile. Oh, yes. look at that. That's a that's some <laughs> flair. This is like this could be like a Brian Zetter kind of vibe, you know, out that, of that, that, that's some, that, that, those those bowling shirts are some fucking flair. Yes. I'm glad he he came back and brought him that shirt. I know that's definitely going to like bring him Oh yeah. Bring him that. That Bobby, you know, yes, man. Time to bowl, brother. Time, time to bowl. <laughs> right. <laughs> what? Dude, never. Nope. Not even <laughs> going to. Not even going to say a word. Oh, that's why they're no longer friends. Is it just me or is this kind of like moving very slowly at this point? It is, but it's also giving a really important message that, you know, this winning stuff shouldn't, shouldn't, you know, really change. Uh, Yeah, this, this whole winning thing should not be affecting, you know, you know, friendships and all that junk. Yes. <laughs> oh, but you've got to be kidding. Cheerleaders. Oh, God's oh. sakes. <laughs> okay. Wait a minute. That dude in the letter jacket, he did not look like he was in junior high. He looked like he was in college. <laughs> Okay, I need we need some context. Ah, uh, there's Aunt Viv. <laughs> yes. I don't know how you can have cheerleaders in the bowling alley when you can't when you can barely maneuver around those around the seats. Hamburger. Oh, good lord! Yeah. I, I just, I just realized his last name, Hamburger. <laughs> Hamburger. The mighty apple. <laughs> Jeez. Good God! That is a terrible trophy. That really is a terrible looking trophy. <laughs> All eternity? Yes. He's giving me a, that, like a politician that, isn't vibe. Isn't that, isn't that kind of dramatic saying for all eternity? Yeah. <laughs> like he's, he's like, let's not want to let, let's not want to let it go. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. 
he's giving me politician vibes for some reason. Well, they're well, they're both mayors. Yes. It doesn't surprise me that they're not giving yes. that they're giving you some politician politician vibes. <laughs> Jeez, could you not have been any more late? Just in time. I like how they reunite. This is... Exactly. I like this kind of music. You know, you know I'm not going to lie. They are giving me those Sunday Tiger Woods vibes, but they actually are giving me a Sunday Tiger Woods vibes with some flair. Yes. At least they don't look like KFC. At least they don't look like the KFC shirts anymore. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so I have a weird suspicion that that girl is good, that that little girl is going to finish off the game. I think so. Yes, she's like, oh, me? Bull? <laughs> oh, Game on! God, see, he, de <laughs> he definitely didn't go to college for that They really, they really needed a referee. Really? Oh, for, for that? Oh my gosh. God's sakes. It's a high school game, man. <laughs> is it just, is it just me or is the, the woman who's the color commentator looking over him? And she's just like, can I please leave? <laughs> Score! Right. <laughs> oh, no wonder he looked like a college student. He's his dad. <laughs> this is so lame of how a radio station is covering a junior high bowling match. Okay, they can't all keep getting strikes for crying out loud. Oh, okay, there you go. You got a spare. <laughs> yes! <laughs> He's getting a swing. <laughs> right. So I got a feeling little... that this that 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 this whole thing is gonna come down to a seven ten split too. I, I don't know. I, I just have a weird, weird feeling. <laughs> All right. Too many strikes. I'm sorry. There's just too. Much. There's just too many strikes. I can't even. I can't take it seriously. God. He he brings that hyper. Win the mighty apple. <laughs> okay. So again, I think I've got a great feeling that this really is going to come down to a seven ten split. <laughs> Here's one.
Oh, please shut the <laughs> freaking frack up. She looks kind of annoyed, too. You're right. <laughs> yeah, she looks so annoyed. Ooh. There's two. What? Oh, that was... <laughs> That was actually kind of close. I thought that one pin was not going to go down. This <laughs> is <laughs> a bad way to live. <laughs> oh, go almighty, go almighty ducks, Charlie Conway on it. God damn it. Yeah. yeah. And it's a strike. Yay! Hey! <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Why was it not as dramatic as those three strikes? <laughs> I thought you said you thrive under pressure. Yeah. <laughs> didn't, he, didn't he say that earlier earlier he, in the er, early in the movie? He, he did. He said, you know, that I love the fire. I love the fast pace. Like <laughs> I'll just get a strike. Oh, son Ooh. of a bitch. <laughs> Why was why was I right? I think you need to shut the fuck up. Yeah. God. Ugh. What did I say? Ooh, it's, it's gonna it's, so yeah. she's gonna do it. She got this. Ser I, I, ser I just can't believe that they actually needed a referee for a bowling match, though. <laughs> what oh, the heck? Me. Eh, he's a bigger man than I I am. I would have just told him, bite me. Yes. <laughs> that, uh, it's just me he, being a jackass. <laughs> he's definitely manning up now. <laughs> I like that. Mm -hmm. What? There's no wind. Jeez. Wow. What? What the? <laughs> what the fuck? You're kidding, right? That is the most interesting bullet I've ever seen. It's going so slow. She's she's got it, doesn't she? Because she's just walking away. Oh my, oh my god! <laughs> How is it still spinning like that? <laughs> oh my! Here. Oh my god! Everybody's on edge. And it's, it's barely halfway down the aisle. <laughs> I I just <laughs> the ball has a mind of its own. Oh now. my god! <laughs> can can the ball please get down there already? <laughs> oh god! Is it slowing down? Look at the 
Look at look she, at the confidence in her face. <laughs> Oh. oh, for God's sakes, why? Why? Get to it already. Oh, oh, she got it. Wow. Score! And first, and first of all, the ball was not that on the edge of the of the pin on that first shot originally. I know that was crazy. Like it was a spinning. I never seen that. I'm gonna try that technique just for fun. <laughs> oh, I hardly doubt you're gonna. Ma <laughs> <laughs> but again, like I like I just said, if if you have a working knowledge of physics, you can bowl the crap out of everything. Yes. <laughs> That was the Aunt Viv and her. Why do I have a feeling that the woke would actually love this movie? Hey, there you go. <laughs> no division. Yeah, so I yeah, the woke would definitely love this movie because there's no dividing against anybody. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so the music just really So the music just automatically just starts playing for God's sakes. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, my God. He, <laughs> he was dead to that move. <laughs> Down the middle. <laughs> I couldn't help it. Oh, what? okay. You know what? That was actually very impressive. That was actually very impressive. Really, we didn't see that you guys would win this game and everything would be better. No, we 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 didn't <laughs> definitely not didn't see that one coming. <laughs> the fox trot, I think. Fox trot. <laughs> yep, you got it. Yes, oh, indeed. God. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that, ladies and germs, is Alley Cat Strike. And you know what? Yeah. It's a good movie. That was a cute movie. It was. <laughs> My first time watching this, definitely hilarious. You know, basically about just a, two young people from different, um, different backgrounds. You know, one was into sports, heavily, you know, all about winning, and the other person is all about having the passion, but then he let fame get to his head, so. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, I mean, it, it was it was a good coming of, it was a good coming of age movie. I mean, I liked it, really, because it, it, it definitely had everything that Disney original movies actually had back then. It had a good plot point. It had, it didn't, 
didn't really have a lot of comedy. I was actually a little, I was slight, I was kind of disappointed with that. I was kind of disappointed that there wasn't a little bit more comedy in it. But all in all, this was a good, good movie. Um, I think it's time, though, that we gave our ratings on this. So, uh, Anika, what is what does Alley Cat Strike get for you? Uh, one out of ten. Well, this movie, I definitely give this movie um, seven pins. <laughs> How did I know you were going to do it? You were going to do a bowling <laughs> pun. How did I just know it? Yes. Um, you. <laughs> you know what? I'm actually going to, I'm going to go ahead and give it, I'm going to give it a good rating and I'm going to go ahead and go just slightly above you. I'm going to give it a decent <laughs> seven point, seven point two out of 10. I will give it seven. I agree. Uh, seven, 7.2 out of 10. So all in all, this movie gets a nice 7 out of 10 from us. And you know what? That was actually, it was, that's a decent score. I mean, this, it, usually when we rate movies, if anything gets, you know, a six and a half and above, it's worth watching again. But this is definitely a good movie. Yes. And what I like about this movie is that they kind of like have, it has an essence of a 50 style, but in a modern twist. You know, so yeah. I'm glad they're keeping that old tradition alive. Yeah. Definitely. Well, that is going to do it for this episode of Ready, Set, Action Commentaries. Please be sure to join us next week because we have Anika choosing the movie and she chose a very special movie in this upcoming week. She is chosen. We are heading back to Bedrock. We're heading back yes! in time to Bedrock <laughs> and we are going to watch the classic the I think nineteen was it nineteen ninety that it came out? I can't remember what Yes. Nine ninety five or ninety six, I think. Uh ninety four I... actually. Nineteen ninety four. Oh, oh, but we oh. so anyway, we are heading back in time. We are heading to bedrock and we are gonna be watching the Flintstones. And yeah, <laughs> this is gonna be a very fun this is gonna be a very fun commentary because I already know the score that I give it. And it, yes. and I can already say that it's worth watching again and again and again. Um, and, you know, funnily enough is that uh, this uh, this movie is actually pretty starstruck. It actually had a, a good lineup of actors and actresses in this yes. movie. But uh, to hear all the details, you're going to have to wait until next week. But also after the Flintstones, then comes my choice. And we actually, you know what? I'm not going to spoil it for you, but I will say this. After my choice the previous week, me and Anika will be getting started on our first movie series of the Ready, Set, Action Commentaries podcast. We will be doing the Harry Potter movie yes, series. Yes. <laughs> yes. And so you better be prepared to have some long nights because we are going. And I actually think, I don't know, Anika, do you think that we should do... I actually had this question in my head. Do you think we, that we should do Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows part one and two in the same night, but two separate podcasts? Or do we make the fans wait an extra week for the second part? I think wait the, the extra week. Yes, because I'll tell you, watching a Harry Potter film, you need to have like, you need to have a break because part one would be a long one. So you need to, <laughs> <laughs> I say this, man, like if you're all nighter, <laughs> kudos to you Potter fans that will watch all, all the movies straight like hours like <laughs> I'm a Potter fan but I need a little bit of a break but definitely um, stay tuned man like hop on the Hogwarts Express too <laughs> definitely but you guys are going to have to wait an extra th you guys are going to have to wait three weeks for the Harry Potter movie fr franchise for us to start and of course as we as everybody knows we go in order, so we're going to be starting with Harry Potter. And so for for people out there, so for, for Americans, we will be starting with Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. But for everybody out of the States, we will be doing Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. So that, yes. It, it, people don't know this. It, it, so outside the United States, it's Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, which is yes. which I I don't know. I, I kind of actually prefer the Sorcerer's Stone. I, I really prefer that name. And really, I think they had it separate. Yeah, they had separate. They had they had different names um, outside the United States. Uh, inside the United States, it was Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Outside the United States, it was Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. Interesting. Hmm. 
but uh you know th th that's that's enough talk from us so again alley cat strike um i want to say gets a nice 7.1 out of 10 stars combined with both mean and nika's score so everybody alley cat strike is definitely a movie to watch it's a good family film so be sure to check it out and by the way thank you guys so much for tuning into this episode of ready set action uh, ready set action commentaries we are going to be back next week if you guys want to please go to our youtube channel and subscribe to us we would love some more subscriptions we want to keep doing these podcasts and when you subscribe to us be sure to hit the little bell icon so that way you guys know when we go live or when we put out any promos to our future podcasts so we that is me and anika we are going to slap it down and we are cutting this one. So guess what, Anika? That is a cut, wrap, yes, and print. In. <laughs>